Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to this edition of my channel. Today what I am going to be talking to you guys about is the Liturgy of the Hours, what it is, and why I like to pray it. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I am talking about this book here, the official Catholic Christian Prayer um, Liturgy of the Hours. So please stay tuned and I hope you enjoy this video. So what is the Liturgy of the Hours? The Liturgy of the Hours is the official prayer of the Church. It is a type of liturgy, just like when we go to Mass, that is a form of liturgy. So the Liturgy of the Hours is the official prayer of the Church. That means that it is not personal prayer. So it wouldn't be like me sitting and writing a personal journal and praying a rosary by myself. The Liturgy of the Hours is me praying with the whole church. Even if I was by myself in my apartment, I would be praying with people all around the world. Priests and deacons and those who are religious or other forms of consecrated life all pray the Liturgy of the Hours. Consecrated virgins are strongly encouraged to pray morning and evening prayer, even though they can pray more of the prayers if they would like to. Also, there are many lay people who will also pray the Liturgy of the Hours. So I could be sitting at home in my basement suite and I could be praying with people all around the world. I could be praying with my priest. So I used to pray for my priest, but one thing that's really cool is that now when I pray the Liturgy of the Hours, I am praying with my priest. I am praying the same prayers as him. A long time ago, I had this deep desire to be like St. Therese, the little flower, of Lucille, um, who was a Carmelite nun, and I wanted to be a Carmelite nun so bad, um, but now I know that's not what God is calling me to, but as I pray the Liturgy of the Hours, I am praying the same prayers as the Carmelite nuns. I am praying the same prayers as religious all around the world, priests, other consecrated virgins. It is amazing. So just like when we go to Mass and we enter into communion, we are in communion with all the saints in heaven and on earth. We are celebrating the Eucharist all around the world. Even though we are not with those people, we are with them and we are united with them in the Eucharist. So that's the same with the Liturgy of the Hours. We are united with so many people praying the same thing. So what is inside of the Liturgy of the Hours and what exactly is it? So the Liturgy of the Hours itself consists of seven prayers. You have your Office of Readings, which is basically reflections from saints or reflections um, from different passages of scriptures. There's also Psalms in there, and yeah, just different passages and reflections. Then you have your Morning Prayer, which is basically summed up of Psalms, Antiphons, a hymn, and the Our Father, intercessions, and uh, a passage of scripture. And the same with evening prayer, it's basically the same thing. There's canticles, hymns, um, there's antiphons, there's passages of scriptures, psalms, and intercessions in the Our Father, and the list goes on. So there's that's basically what morning and evening prayer look like. Then there is daytime prayer, which are short little prayers, and then there's night prayer, which is um, a short prayer with an examination of conscience. And then there is your commons, which I don't know much about, so I couldn't even tell you, but there is also commons. So those are your different things that you will find within your Liturgy of the Hours. So um, it is quite a neat way to be able to pray in unison with the whole church. So why do I like to pray the Liturgy of the Hours? And how did I get started with this? Well, when I went to Bible school, for nine months we had to pray morning prayer and so I learned how to pray Liturgy of the Hours that way um, and also I prayed morning and evening prayer when I lived in another Catholic community before that and when I was becoming Catholic so I was really immersed in this whole idea of praying Liturgy of the Hours. When I got home from Bible school I didn't want to pray Liturgy of the Hours anymore because it just wasn't something that I desired due to all the reading and the page flipping and some people are more into the page flipping and, and like that sort of thing. But for me, I found it a little difficult with my low vision. But this was the book that I have. 
And so I would pray the Liturgy of the Hours out of this. And it has big prints, so I can just kind of show you so you can see big print. So you can get them bigger print. Um, but anyways, I, I would pray the Liturgy of the Hours, but I would find it kind of hard and frustrating to try and find the right pages. I know there are guides and stuff, but it just wouldn't work for me. So when I started to discern consecrated virginity, one of the things that they say with consecrated virgins is that there is this um, there is this strong encouragement to pray morning and evening prayer, and so um, I thought, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna start praying morning and evening prayer um, because if you think about it, at a consecrated virgin's um, consecration, she is given three things: she is given a veil, a ring, and the liturgy of the hours prayer book. She's given a breviary like this, and so, um, anyways. It just kind of made me think, well, maybe I should start getting into praying Liturgy of the Hours if I'm actually going to discern consecrated virginity. But even though it originally started because of that, I really feel that when I pray Liturgy of the Hours, I am able to get in tune with the scriptures. I am able to enter into the rhythms of the liturgical year. I am able to enter into Jesus' death, um, life and resurrection. Uh, death and his life and his resurrection, his birth, the whole paschal mysteries of his, of his life, and so it's pretty amazing. And so, um, another really cool thing that's helped me when I pray the Liturgy of the Hours is I've noticed that when I lead music for the Sunday Mass, I notice that when I'm cantering the psalm, it comes easier to me because I'm constantly reading the psalms, whether through morning or evening prayer. So. Um, just some really amazing graces that have started to come about from praying the Liturgy of the Hours. So another wonderful thing is there's um, intercessions in the Liturgy of the Hours. Um, so we're constantly praying for different needs within the church and within the world. And that is a call, that is the call of all of us as Christians, but it's a special call on consecrated virgins to be in a place of prayer. And so discerning consecrated virginity and wanting to be more in a place of prayer. Um, and so, um, I find myself constantly praying more for the needs of my friends and family, praying more and not forgetting as much because I pray the intentions of the Liturgy of the Hours. And so, anyways, um, those are just some of the graces that have happened for me, praying the Liturgy of the Hours. So, um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped. Also, um, I don't feel comfortable myself giving a tutorial on how to pray the Liturgy of the Hours because I am a beginner myself um, and, you know, have lots to learn and so I will just leave some links at the bottom if you want to learn more about Liturgy of the Hours and how to pray it. So I hope this video helped. I hope it encouraged you. Have a wonderful day. Also, I will leave a link to, um, the, to a video where I do a little tutorial on an app that I use to help me pray the Liturgy of the Hours. Um, so anyways, I'll leave that in, in the descriptions at the bottom as well. So please subscribe to this channel, uh, give this video a like, um, and have a wonderful day. God bless. Jesus loves you. See you next Thursday.